um, something to think about. Do we want to go across the border to shop for groceries? Is saving money the most important thing? Trey Bodge, a uh, smart shopping expert and founder of True. Uh, dot com, truetray.com, I apologize, truetray.com uh, is here now. Uh, Trey is here to help us uh, when saving money on groceries. So first, good morning. What do we need to do uh, besides crossing over to Tijuana uh, to save these days? <laughs> Well, if you don't live near the border, you have to be creative here in the United States to save on groceries because, as you said, the prices are really high. In fact, we're finding that most groceries are about 13 percent higher uh, year over year, which is really impactful for middle and lower class families who are struggling to get food on the table. Uh, so first of all, I would make sure that you sign up for the loyalty programs for any grocery store you're stop shopping in, if there's one available, because you can often get exclusive deals. Uh, a lot of grocery stores are giving away free things like free gas cards. I'm seeing that at my grocery store uh, near me in New Jersey. And we also don't ignore coupon sites. You might use coupon sites, say, for clothing or for electronics. But a coupon site like CouponCabin.com, who I work with, they have amazing deals on Instacart, Fresh Direct, and other grocery stores as well. So definitely look at your favorite coupon site, search groceries, and look for some discounts that you can apply to your, your weekly haul. What's the most economical way uh, to purchase fresh groceries? I know I'm more of a farmer's market girl, though I have to use that food right away and I can't buy too much, otherwise it's just a waste. But do you have any tips? Yeah, so I mean, farmers markets are beautiful and they're a great way to get the very freshest produce and of course to support local farmers, but they do tend to be a little bit pricier than the grocery store. So if you are shopping at the grocery store, think about buying groceries that are in season with fruits and vegetables because if anything has to be shipped across the country or from another country, it's going to cost more. So think in season at all times and you'll save a bit there. How, does it doesn't matter how much you pay, like when you're doing the coupon clipping um, and then you get like a credit card that gives you cash back. Um, mm -hmm. is, is there a way to like use your loyalty memberships and leverage all of that in a way that doesn't take up 16 hours of your time? Yeah, and that's that's such an important point because I am not willing to do the whole kind of crazy couponing thing that takes so much time. Um, so I'm always looking for really quick ways to save. And so how you pay really does matter. If you're paying, for instance, with a credit card for your groceries, make sure you're using the credit card that gives you cash back or points. And if you realize that you don't have a card that offers that, uh, see what you can do about signing up for a new one. There's a new one called the Bread Cash Back American Express for Bread Financial. It gives you a flat 2% across all of your purchases. So you can get 2% back on your groceries, gas, and everything else that you're buying. And that's 2% that you didn't have before. So definitely worth it. And it doesn't take any extra time. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.